Hey lovelies, happy new year. I am very excited to be welcoming 2017. And if you're anything like me, you may have resolved to eat a little better through this year. I know I overdid it a little over the holidays, so it is time to get back on track. And today I'm going to do that with three delicious breakfast parfait recipes. I love these breakfast parfaits because they're really easy to put together. You can make them ahead of time and then enjoy them through the week. And all three of them taste like dessert and that is never a bad thing. I do wanna remind you that my brand new ebook, My Healthy Meal Plan 2017 is now available. So you should take a look. All of the details are in the description box below. It's actually a compilation of more than 100 of my favorite favorite healthy recipes, as well as four full weeks of meal plans for you. If you are looking to eat a little healthier through the year, this ebook will come in very, very handy. Now, without further ado, let's talk about some parfaits. We're kicking things off today with a chocolate peanut butter breakfast parfait. I know it sounds super indulgent, but I swear to you, it's actually pretty good for you. And it tastes like a chocolate peanut butter cup, which actually can't be bad. For this recipe, I'm getting started with some vanilla flavored Greek yogurt. Now, I am a big fan of using full fat yogurt in these recipes. I find it keeps me fuller longer than the non-fat versions, but it's totally up to you. You could also do this with some vegan coconut yogurt if you wanted to, if you wanted to keep this recipe vegan. To my yogurt, I'm simply going to whisk in a little bit of peanut butter. You could totally use almond butter in this recipe as well, and some cocoa powder. We're gonna mix that all up until it's nice and smooth, and then we are going to create our parfait. Basically, I'm going to layer in my yogurt and then top it with some sliced banana. The perfect complement to peanut butter and chocolate is banana. I'm sure you already know that. I'm also going to add some granola for fiber, and then top it all off with some salted peanuts. I'm using salted peanuts because salty sweet is my favorite thing. You could go for unsalted if you are not into that combination. And lo and behold, you have one delicious breakfast on your hands. Next up, I have got a very, very cheesecake parfait that I am real excited about. As with most cheesecake recipes, this one starts with a little bit of cream cheese. I'm just going to use my beater to lighten it up and whip it. To that, I'm going to be adding some more vanilla flavored Greek yogurt, and I'm also going to add just a little splash of maple syrup. The maple syrup is totally optional. You can leave it out if you want, but if you do want a little additional sweetness, maple syrup is a great way to go. Sorry. <laughs> then I'm simply going to layer in my yogurt mixture in the bottom of my jar and top it with some granola, some graham crumbs, and some berries. In this case, I'm using some blueberries and some fresh raspberries, but you can really use any combination of berries you like. I would even go ahead and use some cherries, and then you'd have a cherry cheesecake breakfast parfait. Delicious. Finally on today's menu, I have an incredible apple pie inspired breakfast parfait that might be one of the tastiest things I have ever tasted. It all starts, of course, with some apple. I'm just gonna chop up an apple. I'm leaving the skins on because it just adds extra fiber, but if you wanted to peel your apple, you can go right ahead. I'm gonna pop it into a small saucepan on the stove over medium heat. To that, I'm going to add just a squeeze of lemon juice and a little sprinkle of cinnamon. I'm not using any additional sugar in this recipe, but if you did want to sweeten it up a little, you could use some brown sugar or some maple syrup. Both would work just as well. We're gonna simmer that away until the apple starts to soften up between 10 and 12 minutes. And then we're gonna turn our heat off completely and set it aside and let it cool. Once it's cool, you can simply layer in some vanilla flavored Greek yogurt, top that with your apple mixture, and then finish it off with some crumbled granola. If you're looking for some great granola recipes, not to worry, I have a video for that. You can take a look in the description box below. All the details are there. I really hope you guys will give these three delicious recipes a try. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because of course, I love seeing your kitchen creations. Keep in mind, all month long, I am going to be sharing lots of wonderful, deliciously healthy recipes just like these. If there's anything you'd like to see, be sure to leave your suggestions in the comment section below because I'm always looking for inspiration. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.